Today we have finished the construction of our second generation Oyster, our Oyster 800 machine, and we're unveiling this machine. It will shortly be uh, brought onto a barge and shipped up to Orkney, where it will be installed later this summer. The Oyster 800 is designed to capture at a peak 800 kilowatts of electricity. On average, throughout the whole of the year, it will produce somewhere closer to 300 kilowatts, but obviously, uh, with higher waves and in storm conditions, it will produce at its output, its maximum output, 800 kilowatts. If you look at this machine, uh, an array of these could generate electricity for 15,000 homes, so it could take care of, of methyl and maybe a bit more. So it's an impressive start to uh, an adventure and it's a technology which is already generating jobs, will shortly generate power, and where Scotland leads the world. The Oyster One machine was built to prove the concept of extracting power from ocean waves and converting it into electricity. This machine, Oyster 800, is designed to provide continuous electricity generation from ocean energy. Uh, this machine has been designed with a 20-year life and uh, once it's installed, we hope that it will continually operate for the next 20 years in the Orkney waters. Well, this is one of the, the, the big entrants into the uh, wave and tidal power market. And it's the emerging technology. And we reckon within 10 years, we'll be talking about a gigawatt, a thousand megawatts, about a fifth of what Scotland needs itself coming from wave and tidal power alone. To get there, we've got to get big devices deployed in the waters around Scotland. Oyster 800, as you can well see, is one of the big devices. This is a very important day for Aquamarine Power, for all the people who work here. We now have 60 staff in the company. All of them have been working extremely hard designing this machine, and now it's great that they can actually see the fruits of their labours. And uh, we are just working on the next evolution of the machine, improving its performance, improving its cost effectiveness. It all started about 2001, where our company is coming from a strong background in the oil and gas sector. However, the future for our company and the biggest growth opportunities in renewables, particularly here in Scotland. So we have successfully um, built a number of structures in, in the wind, offshore wind side, and now we're focusing on wave and tidal as well. So we're covering all areas, all sectors. Currently we're employing here at our methyl facility 350 people. The company in total are employing five, 600 people at this moment in time across three sites. Uh, by far Methyl, by far Burnt Island and by far Varnish. And I've been going on about the reindustrialisation of Scotland. The people sort of say to me, where are the jobs? You know, where are they coming from? Well, there's 350 here in Fife and that's the reindustrialisation of Scotland.